Hi, this is Taylor K. Arthur for the Mental Illness in the Family blog on Healthy Place. I just wanted to talk this month about um, marriage and mental illness and how um, important it is for both partners to be taken care of. I know that can seem impossible when uh, one one partner is ill and one partner really has to fill in that caretaker role. But I want to remind both spouses, whether you're the mentally ill spouse or the caretaker spouse, um, that the caretaker's needs do matter. And it's important that the caretaker get, get what they need, whether that be exercise or time away or just a little attention from the mentally ill spouse. I know that um, mental illness and mental illness recovery can be so overwhelming that a lot of times people... Um, really just all they can focus on is getting better. And that's really, really important. But I do believe that part of getting better is um, learning how to reach beyond yourself and give to another person. And that first person needs to be your spouse who's sticking by your side. Even if all you can do is hug them and ask them how their day went and listen for 30 seconds, even if all you can do is maybe empty the dishwasher to just take a little load off of them or just to, you know, get them some small gift or or something daily as often as you can um, to show them that they are not in this alone and that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And the thing that I have seen um, in my own life and in my own marriage is that that stretching, that trying to just think of one little thing to do every day for my husband has helped me get better because we have to move outside of ourselves to um, to get better. It can't always be about being sick. It has to eventually be about living a normal, healthy life. And uh, the only way to do that is to move beyond ourselves, beyond our mental illness, um, so that we can be better for ourselves, but just as importantly for our partner who's sticking with us through it. So I just encourage you in, in your marriage today that both partners um, try to give but also try to make sure that that caretaker is getting what they need, even if it's just little sentimental uh, gestures at first, um, which will become more and more if you try. Thank you. This is Taylor K. Arthur for Healthy Place, the Mental Illness and the Family Blog.